about Biblical Archaeology Society and it talks about how the Jews and Arabs descended from Canaanites. They did a DNA analysis from bodies that have been found at several sites and explains more than half of ancestry is what it says. The DNA of 93 bodies recovered from archaeological sites around the southern Levant, the land of Canaan in the Bible. Researchers have concluded that modern populations of the region are descendants of the ancient Canaanites. Most modern Jewish groups and the Arabic speaking groups from the region show at least half of their ancestry is Canaanite. Let's look at the Canaanite description here. Strong 3667 Canaan. Then it says here Canaanite merchant Canaan is first used of a person in Genesis 918. Okay, so then let's go on. Joshua 3.10, Canaanite is a general term for all the descendants of Canaan. Deuteronomy 7.1, it is interchanged with Amorite in Genesis 15.16. Canaanite also refers to one specific people in Canaan, Numbers 13.29. Then it gives some more verses which have to do with Joshua, which I'm going to show you that too. That's interesting. Right, if you take a look here, it says Genesis 9, 25 through 27 stamps the theological significance on Canaan from the beginning. Noah prophetically placed this curse on Canaan because his father had stared at Noah's nakedness and reported it grossly to his brothers. Ham's sin, deeply rooted in his youngest son, is observable in the Canaanites. Leviticus 18, 3, the command to destroy the Can Canaanites was very specific. Alright, so this is where Yahweh um, told Joshua and the tribes to kill, destroy the various tribes. Why? Because they are related also to Nephilim, which I'll show you in a little bit here. So let's go on. Okay, so as this, if you look down at the bottom here, it says Canaanite became synonymous with religious and moral perversions of every kind okay then we go here okay and this is a description where it tells about the different tribes and it mentions specifically Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the banks of Jordan okay so then I look this map up it says here now this is the path of the spies numbers 13 and it shows you right where they began, all right, and then as, as you see, they progress right into the territory which God gave them, which is the Canaanite territory, along with all these different tribes, okay? So if you look at all these tribes, you've got Edomites, and that's they're related to Esau, which is the twin brother of Israel, Jacob. You've got Moabites, you've got Amorites, you've got... Hittites, Jebusites, now Jebusites, they were the tribe that was conquered by King David, and that was where the original true Zion Jerusalem is, which would be in the city of David today. All right, and it shows also the Amalekites, and we did a video on that. It's really interesting, and again, these are all, many of these people were giants, and uh, we'll go to those scriptures next. If you take a look at all right, Genesis chapter 6, it says here, let's read it. And it came to pass when men began to multiply on the face of the earth, and daughters were born to them, that the sons of God saw that daughters of men were fair, so they took them wives all of all whom they chose. Then the Lord said, My spirit shall not dwell in man forever, because he is flesh. Let his days be 120 years. Then it says in 4, There were giants on the earth in those days, and also after that. For the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bore children to them, and they became giants, who in the olden days were mighty men of renown. Okay, so then it says here, And the Lord saw that the wickedness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination of the thoughts of his heart was evil continually. Okay, so he told 
Joshua to stamp them all out. All the Israelites were to come in there, take that land. Okay, so let's look at that verse here where it says here, this this would be in Numbers 33. There were, they, excuse me, they, there we saw giants, the son of giants, the descendants of giants, and we were in their sight like grasshoppers, and so we were in their eyes. Okay, and, and and so we were in their eyes. Okay, so this this also coincides with the Tanakh. Now, I'm reading out of Aramaic, which is the most ancient authoritative text. And um, Jesus spoke Aramaic, by the way. Okay, All right. So take a look here. Let's go on with this article. It says it in the study. Published in Cell, the researchers explained that they used existing DNA analysis of 20 individuals. Then it goes on to say here, from sites in Israel and Lebanon, and then added 73 more, taking DNA from the bones of individuals found in at Tel Megiddo, Tel Abal, uh, looks like Beth, Makkah, and Tel Hazar, which should be northern Israel, Yehud, which is central Israel, and Bekaa, central Jordan, by first eliminating individuals closely related to other individuals in the sample. Anyway, it goes on to say they're all connected, and I think it's interesting because it's a boss who brought that up, and I'll show you that next. Okay, here's a picture of it. This came out of the video that we posted uh, last fall it says we are the Canaanites he said according to a report here and this was in an Arab paper it says here how that uh, they go back to the Canaanites that were here 5,000 years ago so I think that's really interesting and uh, then okay then here also there's there is the verse again about Genesis 6 4 specifically Okay, and then let's go on with this about the Levant. It says here, talks about the Canaanite culture was dominant in southern Levant during the Bronze Age. So that's 3,500-1200 BCE. As Iron Age began, the Canaanite city-states faded. Okay, so the, so here's what I'm, I'm looking at all this you know, as, as we study through here. My point being this is that we've got a situation where because of fallen angels that mated with women, human women, okay, and they produced giants, okay, what we've got then is we have a mixture, we have a mixture, and it's gone really I think through most all humanity. Because it says in the Bible, where Noah was concerned, he was considered a righteous man. But I also believe that speaking about God knew that um, his seed was clean. All right, But when you look at the depravity that was going on before the flood, I mean, we're talking where they had hybrids, they had all kinds of stuff going on. All right, and if you read Enoch, you find that out. It was really, um, if you want to take a look on the videos here, you'll find a video we did on Enoch, and I just was reading direct from the scriptures of Enoch, because it'll really, I think, help you further to understand a lot of things that were going on. And uh, anyway, these angels had a lot of technology, and personally, I believe that's where the occultists, elitist globalists have gotten a lot of their um, education and technology all right because we know when we look at the Nazis we look at um, they had a base down in Antarctica and you take a look at how they were heavily into the occult all right and who brought that fallen angels brought that they brought all of their different uh, knowledge to the earth all right and so when we take a look at all that and then we take a look and do a study on what's coming which is if you take a look at Reve Revelation 19 it talks about this huge war that's going to happen in Megiddo the Valley of Jezreel in Megiddo and what is that about that's to do with the dark 
occultic armies going against Christ and his army. And Christ wins. But I believe there's a real mix of blood going on. That's why in the Bible it says that we all have corrupted seeds. So there's a lot more going on uh, than what we even understand. There's some big mysteries going on. And if you look at Genesis 3, it talks about serpent seed. So I think there's a lot going on there where uh, Cain and Abel and how that Cain killed Abel. I think there was stuff going on right then and there. Um, very, a lot of mysteries. Um, one one uh, study that I looked at, they said that, um, you know, this thing about an apple on the tree was, you know, really, the truth is it was to do with the angel of light, which is, he was really the highest cherubim in the rankings in the heavenly realms, which is Lucifer, Satan, they're one and the same spirit, okay, these are spirits, God is spirit, that can manifest as he did in flesh, all right, but here's my point, if you take a look and go all the way back and then do some really heavy, deep research, you think, okay, wait a minute, there's more maybe going on there, with Eve and the cherubim, all right, that a lot of us just didn't understand, but it seems to me, I think God is revealing more and more, letting us understand more and more what is going on here that makes us understand how our seed is corrupted and uh, proves really, to me, it proves more and more about our Creator. And uh, this business of evolution is, to me, the biggest joke and the biggest laugh there ever was. You start really doing your research and you'll see, I mean, it's ridiculous. But they have a narrative and they've gotten it into all, everything, because you see, the, they do not want to bow. A lot of these globalist, elitist, occultists do not want to bow to God. They want to be gods themselves. And that's that's where we're going that's why we're going into this now, which we're already in it, which is the beast the beast reign. And uh we're coming I believe it's not that far off too where they will introduce the um mark that the mark of the beast that everyone will have to have that in order to buy and sell. I, that's to me that's not that far off because Gates already has the the tattoo idea that uh, they're working on right now. To mark everybody but that is not the mark of the beast but it could be a partial part of the technology that will be used in it because clearly and we have a lot of videos that we put out on that about the mark of the beast and it it will be inserted in the right hand between the thumb and the forefinger but it will be something inserted inside the skin chiragma that's a Greek word for stick into all right but then on top of that, there'll be an actual mark, and I think that's to do with this tattoo technology that Gates is working on right now. Okay, so don't take the mark. And uh, I just think this is interesting, though, to show you how that, yeah, the both Jews and Arabs are connected to the Canaanites, and the it, in Scripture you find the Jews did marry, they did marry some of those tribes, so... They didn't kill them all off like they were told to. And by the way, I don't know if you knew this, but the reason that they ended up in Egypt and, what, and they were in slavery for those 400 years, it's because they did not obey God when God told them clearly to take out the Amorites. And if you see here in Strong's, the Canaanites and Amorites, you know, there's a connection right there. And they did not obey, they did not do it, and that's why they ended up in Egypt for all those years. It was a punishment. That's that's what's going on there. It's just really, if you get into the scriptures and you start deep, deep diving into them, doing word studies and things, you, you'll just be amazed at what you find out because you're not taught any of this stuff. Not even by... The pastors of today they just they don't they don't teach you things you need to go to the scriptures it's important 